Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life. Hallelujah. Come on, he's risen, is at the right hand of God, and is also interceding for us. Look, we got Jesus interceding for us. We can make it, y'all. We can make it. He's interceding for us. And it's not just interceding because we lost our job. Like I said, most of these scriptures are not for, I lost my job, I lost my bank, I lost, I lost my family. These are meant for those who are standing up at the gates of hell as a church. And he's interceding for us. Not because we lost our job. He's interceding for us. He's interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall hardship or trouble or persecution or the coronavirus, famines, come on, nakedness or danger or the sword, what's going to separate you from the love of Christ? Are you going to let things get in the way of your relationship with God? Letting you get all fearful? Like, oh, forget Jesus. I didn't sign up for this. Put my life on the line, my livelihood on the line. I didn't sign up for this. Our yes to Jesus has to be all of that. You got to weigh it out. What am I saying yes to? You're saying yes to salvation, yes to prayer, intimacy, yes to being persecuted, yes to being hated, yes to all that, yes to enduring to the end, which means your yes is yes until you die. 